Welcome back everyone to uh, Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword HD. I am a random Dark Link and in the last video we uh, we lost our Loftwing uh, and Zelda almost killed us but uh, that's really the best way I could describe it. Uh, anyways we're gonna be uh, trying to go look for our Loftwing here and uh, try and figure this out and you're still working on the gate here. Is something wrong? Well, what's the big hurry? What? Your Loftwing is missing. But I just saw him. Cruz's bird was chasing off after your feathered fella. Where's Cruz? Oh, Cruz and his little cronies were saying they were headed down to the wing ceremony in the plaza. So my guess is they might be in the plaza. Normally the fastest way there is just down this path. But this gate here still needs some work before it'll open. Can you go around through the academy? Remember to check the map with Minus if you got lost. Cool. Fantastic. I realize I have a, a different voice there, but that's just because I heard the the voice that time. So, anyways, let's uh, talk to Instructor Horwell here. Oh, what the? I'm sorry. Hello. Don't men open doors for a lady anymore? How am I supposed to stand here waiting for a little chivalry? Ugh. Oh, it's you, Link. Say, you look all flustered. Did something happen? <laughs> what? You can't find your lost wing? Um, I don't know what to tell you. I've been here at school the whole time. Okay, well, I guess she really doesn't care that we just opened the door. I, I just needed to point that out. Okay, cool. Dang, I, a lot of things I don't notice here. No. What's wrong, Link? You looking a little pale. What? Your, your lot wing is missing. How strange and troubling. Do you, uh, think you could find him? You're gonna start looking for him now? How will you make it back to, in time to fly for the, in the ceremony? Ugh, I can't speak! Jeez, it's... Jeez, it's a whole pandemic out here! Um... <clears throat> it looks like your participation in the ceremony hinges on feather! Or not, you can find that bird on time. <clears throat> Excuse me. I see, so the headmaster has summoned me? Alright then, I'll go speak with him immediately. I still owe you for helping me out earlier, so don't worry about the ceremony for now. You focus on finding your lost wing. Oh dear. I, I just realized he sounds like Yogi Bear now. <laughs> Oops. I didn't mean to give him that voice, but it's just like, that, this is the way it turned out. Um, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Anyways, let's make our way down this way here. Ah. Uh, oh dear. Okay, this is a mechanic I also don't like here. What are you doing? <laughs> Hold up, Link! Hey, hey, Link! Could you help me with something? All you have to do is dash and roll into the tree. Just like I've been doing. Dash, then when you're in front of the tree, BAM! Do a roll right into it. So come on, please! Oh, jeez. While dashing, press down the left stick. <sighs> I hate this. I absolutely hate this. Like, this... These button controls have ruined, like, the roll for me. Like, the, the whole rolling mechanic. You know, just like, the somersaulting roll. Because you have to press forward on the same stick that you used to move, and then press down in an awkward way that allows you to roll. So, dash, move forward, press. It's... It's so weird. I don't like it. You love your bugs, do you? Aww. You okay, buddy? Ah, My sky steak beetle! So close! Oh well, to catch it I would need a bug net anyway. I wish it had thrown out the one I bought at Beetle's airship. Ah, Air shop? Oh, dear. Did I just misread that? 
Oh boy. Can we get- Okay, we can go into this random house. Cool. Oh boy. <laughs> Casual Zelda just walking into other people's homes. Ooh. Hey, Link. Today's the big day, isn't it? You know, the wing ceremony thing? Win this thing, and you'll get bumped up to the senior class. Here in Skyloft, it's being able to ride a love wing that separates the kids from the adults. And if your goal is to become a knight, well, good technique is even more important. All of us learn to fly the hard way. Lots of practice. Uh. You really shouldn't open other people's cupboards without permission! <laughs> okay, that's enough of that. Let's actually go down to, uh... Down to the plaza here. Anyways. Oh dear, here we go. You know, Cruz, that sure was a pain. What with all the scratching and pecking. <laughs> <laughs> of course it was. You thought a big crimson loft wing like that was gonna go down without a fight? But we got him, and I don't care how tough those birds are supposed to be. He's not getting out of that pen anytime soon, boys. Uh-oh. Whoa! Uh, Link! Uh, so, uh... Yeah, just how long you've been standing there? Uh, what's your problem anyway? Oh wait, I got it! You're here to talk about today's race. I can see it in those dopey eyes of yours. They're pleading, Oh, gross! Can't you please find it in your heart to let me win today? Please? You're just desperate to win so you can get some alone time with Zelda up on the statue of the goddess at the end of the ceremony. <laughs> well, sorry, pal. Bruce doesn't do charity for wimps. My advice? Work hard and wish with all your hearts. You might even come in second. Say, come to think of it, how come I don't see your bird? Where is that scruffy pile of red feathers? I can't imagine what could have happened to him. Do you think his tiny brain got confused by all the clouds and got lost? Bring it on. <laughs> sure. Only thing is, I don't know how you're going to do that with no bird. You gotta grow wings? You know, we're all getting tired of how you never let anyone forget you and Zelda go way back. You've been friends since you were kids. Big deal. It doesn't change the fact that you float through life with your head in the clouds. Would you wake up, straighten up, and grow a backbone already? Dopes like you are dragging our honored academy through the mud. And just who might you be talking about, Groose? Oh? Uh, Zelda! Hey, uh, nah, it's a... Uh-oh. <laughs> Don't even try it, Groose. You're picking a Link again, aren't you? He's a student at the Academy, like all of us. Why did you insist on bullying him around so much? Yeah, I... I, I suppose... Mm -hmm. You suppose? Suppose what? <laughs> oh no. Oh god. <laughs> I... I suppose... You... Er... <laughs> Forget it. I wasn't supposing anything, okay? <laughs> okay, we're out of here, boys. Later, Link. Hope you find your bird, or else you're gonna have to sit out today's race. 
That could be a major setback toward knighthood, so find that border and get used to the taste of failure. It's your special flavor. Yeet! <laughs> Why not do that? Uh, I, I don't know how good that whole Groose thing was, but I, I hope that, that was somewhat entertaining for everyone to hear. I hate to say that, but I'm beginning to suspect that those blockheads had something to do with your Lockwing's disappearance. Oh, really? Gee, I don't know. That that seems interesting. Link, those guys aren't going to help us find your birds. So we better start searching. I'll fly around Skyloft and see if I can spot any trace of your bird. Father said he talked to Instructor Horwell about delaying the start of the wing ceremony, so you don't worry. We'll find your bird in time. <laughs> Excuse me. And there she goes. Oh, dear. Anyways, I, I haven't talked to you yet. I, I wonder what they're talking about over there. Looks pretty serious. What the... What's wrong, Link? What? Your love wing is... missing? That's terrible! I was so looking forward to seeing that red blur streak through the sky. Oh no, I haven't seen him. Huh, why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? You have a good view of the whole town from way up there. The statue of the goddess is the great big statue in the north of Skyloft. It's that place with the X mark. Yeah, I've been there already. Huh. I mean, I, I know where it is, but I guess everyone else can, like, Take that advice and figure that out. Why not? Oh, hello. What's up, Link? You seem to be in a hurry. Oriel, okay. Oh, what's this about your bird? Oh, that unusual Crimson Longwing? Have I seen him? I'm sorry, I haven't. Why don't you look for him by the statue of the goddess? We'll have a good view of the whole town from way up there. Seriously, what is up with this thing and, like, you know, the whole statue that... <laughs> Alright, the gate's fixed. Yeah, I guess we... Oh, God. That, that would have been bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dear, that... that... Hey. Hey, Link. Oh, over here. I have some information about your loft wing. Come over here. Oh. Well. There we go. Let's do it. Hey, Link. I was just looking for you. Yeah. I heard your loft wing has gone missing, so I thought I'd join the search. And get this. When I asked Fledge what he knew, he started acting weird. Oh? I'm so sorry, Link. I really wanted to tell you, but if Bruce found out I told you... It sounds like Bruce forced him to keep quiet about it. Go on. Tell him the truth. Just a little while ago, when I was in the dining hall, Bruce and his buddies came in. They didn't notice I was there and started talking about their plan to hide your lot wing. I wanted to warn you, Link. But just as I tried to sneak away, Cruz and his gang grabbed me. He said if I told you, they'd make sure I would never be able to ride a bird ever again. It sounds like Cruz and his buddies had a plan to capture your bird and hide him near a waterfall. Well, near a waterfall would mean... Quick, let's take a look at your map. Oh? That's it, right there. I think it means the waterfall marked here with the X. Oh? Cool. Forgive me, Link. I, I can't help being such a coward. I'm really sorry. No, it, it's cool. Uh, yeah, I guess we can head over there real quick. Oh. One more thing, Link. Mm -hmm. If you're going out to the waterfall, remember that there are some dangerous things there. Creepy, crawly things. You'll need to carry a sword. 
I think I saw the Knight Commander go into the sparring hall a while ago. You should go ask him if you can borrow one. Okay. I guess we can do that. And just, uh... No. I'm still getting used to the combat in this game, so... And this is, like, the non-motion control thing. This is the, the weird thing with, like, the stick. So, anyways. Hey, it's Link. So, you still want to get some sword practice, even to though today is the ring ceremony? I'm impressed. The sword's in the back room. Go on back there and get it. I'll be here for a while, so, uh... If there's anything you don't understand about handling a sword, uh, Go ahead and ask. Cool, thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you very much. I don't know why I decided to do that there. Anyways... Uh, uh, that, that's just a simple opening of a treasure chest. You got a practice sword! Students at the Knight Academy practice with these. It looks like it has a fairly sharp blade. Press the plus button at any time to look at the items you're carrying. Cool. Nice. That's fantastic. Okay, so button controls in this game. Anyways, uh... In order to do this, you just, uh... You just use the, uh, right stick here. And it actually is quite easy as it seems. Quite as easy as you, uh... As it looks. Um, you just need to make sure that, uh... Everything is perfectly lined up. And, uh... Flick in the direction that you want to swing. Yeah, it's... it's though, you know... He is holding the sword a weird way. <laughs> yeah, for some reason, like, these logs rotate with, the uh... Ah, that, that's... Yeah. It's, it's pretty simple once you get the hang of it. Uh, I'm still trying to get the hang of it, so, once again, direction that you want to swing it in, and flick the right stick. It, it looks a little weird, because that, that Link has a little bit of a delay on his end. There we go, but it's, it's pretty intuitive. And then, uh... To uh, stab a uh, log here, uh, you just press down on the right stick. That's right, Link. You really are str a strong swordsman. Easy to teach, too. You make this instructor proud. Are you ready to try a spin attack? Okay, so a spin attack is a little bit weird, and I'll have the Knight Commander explain this one. Well, great! Now, I'm going to surround you with logs. Use a spin attack to cut them all without moving from that spot. Oh, great. So, flick right... Flick the right stick quickly. Left, right, and left. So... Yeah. Good one! That sure looked like it felt good. So, why don't you try a fatal blow to close out our session? Yeah. Alright. When your enemy is down, target with the, uh... The ZL button and throw yourself at it to land a fatal blow. Do a side slash on that log. When it's down, try finishing off with this technique. So what he means by this is, uh, do, do a casual horizontal flick. And then, uh, while holding ZL, flick up, down, up on the right stick to do this. It takes a while to get used to, but it's... Be honest, uh, with my experience with Skyward Sword, like, this actually is so freeing for me. That's the way! A fatal blow is also an effective move to use right after you've used your shield or a well-placed spin attack to knock an enemy on its back. Oh, but monsters don't stay down for long, so you have to land the fatal blow quick before they get up. Oh, thank you. Uh, yeah, so my experience playing Skyward Sword, uh, when it was out on the Wii, uh, I actually really did enjoy the motion control aspect of it, uh, at first, but, you know... It just got super, like, finicky, and, you know, it was a Wii remote, so it was just, like, it was a very, uh, crazy thing, and so I was just, I was not, like, the biggest fan of the motion controls, and it only got worse when, like, okay, I had the Motion Plus accessory before they started building them into the Wii remotes, so what ended up happening, on my first go through Skyward Sword, is that I almost beat the game, 
But right when I was about to face the final boss, my Motion Plus started to malfunction. And I'm, I'm talking about specifically the connection between the nunchuck and, like, the Motion Plus itself. Um, it, it started, like, moving moving Link on its own without, like, any sort of, like, response from me from the nunchuck. So I was just, like, prancing around, and I wasn't able to do anything. And so that just let the final boss open, me to, open to me just to kill me every single time. And it was just so infuriating. And and I, I went, like, a whole, like, you know, five or six years before I was finally able to get myself an actual motion plus like built-in remote to finally like make up for that setback. Unfortunately, what occurred there though was I ended up uh huh, I ended up having a nunchuck breaking and so a particular part of the game where I had to use I had to flick the nunchuck with um I couldn't get past because you know, it wasn't responding that way anymore. It could still move, but I couldn't flick the nunchuck anymore. And so I was stuck there. So we had to borrow a nunchuck for a friend, from a friend. And then there was like this one little scary like aspect that sort of like gave me a little bit of like a flashback instance where like I was around, around like the final boss again. I started, I had just one instance of a malfunction. I was like, Oh dear, oh no, oh no, like, it was, it was starting to happen again. But thankfully, that was the only time that ever occurred, so that was good. Because soon after, like, two or three tries, I finally defeated the final boss, and I finally beat Skyward Sword, and I never picked up the game again. Because I had such terrible luck when using controllers with this game. And so, just doing a simple thing here where you can just flick and do do that, it is so freeing for me. You have no idea. So, that's the little story here. So, anyways, let's go here. Hey, hey Link! You can't take swords out of the sparring hole. What do you think you're doing with sneaking out with that? What? Your law twing is missing. You want to go look for it? Well, I guess I could make an exception just this once. But remember that Skyloft is a peaceful place. Only knights carry swords. So I don't want you to... S uh, so I don't want to see you swinging it around like crazy out there. I don't want to get into a ton of trouble over this. So here's the deal. Make sure you get plenty of practice on these logs first, and once you get outside with that sword, only use it when you absolutely have to. Got it? Yep. Oh god, so, um... I, I am gonna get some practice with this log- with these logs, so, uh... Uh, I- I will see you later. Okay, I think that's enough practice for now. Let's head out toward the waterfall and run over there. Nice and fine. Stinking. Okay, so I'm just gonna hold down the R while I'm doing this. The right stick. And try and like do a little bit of a speed run over here. Grabbing the stamina fruit like crazy. Oh dear. Oh, this. That's a little weird. Here we go. Aha. So, probably not do that. Aha. Oh! Hello. Look at this thing. Who knows how long this statue's been here? And it only has one eye, poor thing. You probably know this, but you can press up to look around. Yeah, I, I know that. I know that. Anyways. <laughs> so much fun. Okay. That is... Those were some thin slices. There 
There we go. Split the thing in two. That's what I wanted to do there. I'm just fooling around to buy time at the moment. Okay, there, there's a simple thing to do with this. Oh, yep. Sensed the lock wing now. Any who's? Still not quite there yet. There we go. Almost perfect. There we go. So anyways, in the next episode, we are going to go right into this cave and uh, 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 do some actual gameplay action, which will be uh, pretty fun. So anyways, I thank you all for joining me. And if you liked what you saw, uh, give this video a thumbs up and uh, uh, subscribe for more because I release videos daily. Uh, thank you for uh, your continued support and I will see you in the next video. Take care.